Have you ever thought that maybe the actuarial career isn't right for you? Well, in this video, I'm going to be telling you why it might not be. I'm Bria from Etched Actuarial, and there are a lot of people that get into actuarial roles and later decide they actually don't really like it. So we're going to help you uncover those things that you might not hear about so often, kind of the disadvantages of the actuarial career, but they aren't all going to be disadvantages for everyone. Some of these things are going to be things that you might absolutely love, but there might be some things I talk about that you don't want in a career at all. So maybe you haven't considered them. The actuarial career is not a career for everyone. Just because you love math doesn't mean you're going to love actuarial work. I'm sure you're already sold on the benefits. People talk about them all the time. There's the high salary. There's the great opportunity for advancement. There's the work-life balance. There's the job security and the low unemployment rate. Um, I put that in quotes because it's not entirely true. Maybe I'll make a video about that. But there are lots of advantages. I think it's important that you also make sure you are understanding the disadvantages. So I've got six things here that might be disadvantages for you that you might have not considered before. One is that you actually have to be interested in insurance. You are going to spend a lot of time most likely working on insurance products and stuff related to insurance. Your exams are going to be based around insurance. So if you don't like insurance and you don't find it interesting and you don't want to know all the ins and outs about how it works and all that kind of stuff, then you're probably not going to like being an actuary. Even though you get to use math every day, if you don't like applying those skills to insurance, then an actuarial career is not for you. Number two is that you have to like working alone. A lot of actuarial work is done alone, and if you don't like that type of env environment, if you prefer working in large groups and stuff like that, then an actuarial career might not be right for you. If that's something you're willing to sacrifice, then sure, go into it, because there might be a few jobs out there where you get more of a group work together kind of atmosphere, but the majority of jobs are going to be you working alone in a cubicle. So yeah, if that's not something you want in your career, then don't go into the actuarial career. Third is studying for exams. You probably already know that there are lots of actuarial exams that you're going to have to pass, and these exams take a long time. They can take five to 10 years. Not only that, but there tends to be a lot of pressure to pass them in most companies. So it's not like you can just take them at your own pace. You usually have to keep going and going and going until you get them done. It can add up and be a lot of pressure. It kind of makes you feel exhausted, like you're never actually done. You have to sacrifice a lot of time to fit these to fit in all the studying and stuff like that. So you really have to take this into consideration. Are you willing and do you want to put in all that time for your career? I actually recorded a video not very long ago that'll help you figure out if actuarial exams will fit into your life in the future. I'll link that down below and also up here if I remember. Uh, go check that out because I think it'll be really insightful for helping you figure out if they're really going to fit into your life later on. Number four is that you actually have to like working in a corporate environment. As an actuary, you are going to be sitting at a desk all day. You are going to be in meetings a lot. You are going to be in an office environment. You're going to have to deal with politics that come with an office environment. If you don't like that kind of corporate environment, then you don't want to be an actuary. And I've also heard that sitting is the new smoking nowadays. It's very bad for your health. So if you don't want to be sitting at a desk all day, then you might want to reconsider the actuarial career. But there are ways to get around this. Uh, oftentimes, companies will invest in standing desks if you request them and stuff like that. So I don't think that this is a huge factor, but definitely you do have to consider if the corporate environment is something that you want to work in. If you want to be in an office all day, you're not going to be out traveling. You're not not going to be out in the outdoors. Is that okay with you? Number five is that you actually have to love doing geeky things like working in Excel, you have to love working with data, you have to love programming and doing computer geeky techy things. Even though the actuarial career and all the plubis, plub, 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 publicity <laughs> publicity around it 
It doesn't really talk about all the technical skills that you really will be using on the job, but it's not just math all day. You are on the computer doing all these techie things all day long, and if you don't love that, then you're not going to love the actuarial career. I absolutely loved working with Excel. It was Excel was one of the things I did every day, and I loved working in it. But if that's not something that you like, then you're just not going to like the actuarial career. So take that into consideration. Number six is that you have to love digging into the details. Now, this is especially important in the beginning years of your actuarial journey. A lot of the time, entry-level actuaries are involved in all the nitty-gritty details of everything that's going on. As you become more and more experienced and you raise, rise up in the corporate ladder, you're probably going to be focusing more on the high-level picture. You'll be coming at things more from a business perspective and all that kind of stuff. So, of course, if you don't want to rise up to that level of responsibility and getting involved with all the high-level, big-picture thinking, then you don't have to, but you do need to make sure that you like getting into the nitty-gritty details and figuring out why small things aren't matching up or why things aren't working, that sort of thing, because as an entry-level actuary, you will be doing that all the time. So if this video didn't deter you from becoming an actuary, I'd love for you to check out my Actuary Accelerator community. It gives you step-by-step -step guidance on what you can do to become a top candidate for actuarial positions. The competition for these jobs is competitive right now, but if you are doing all the things you can possibly be doing right now in order to make sure that you are becoming a better and better and better candidate, then by the end, it's almost guaranteed, it's inevitable that you will be a great candidate and get your first full-time actuarial job. So if that sounds interesting for you, I'd love for you to check it out. I will link to it right down below in the description. And hey, if you have decided that you still want to be an actuary, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other videos because I do tons of actuarial videos on this channel and I know you'll find lots more that interest you. Bye for now!